This is the story of the three little pigs told by Miss Patty. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One, two, three. The three little pigs lived with their loving mommy piggy. One day, the mom told them that it was time for them to move out on their own. She told them that they needed to go build a nice sturdy house, but to be careful and be sure that they built it sturdy enough to keep out the big bad wolf who lived in the forest nearby. The first little pig was a very lazy pig and he loved to play in the mud all day. I love playing in the mud. But he told his mother that he would obey and he would move out and build a sturdy house. So he kissed her goodbye and told her he would see her soon. He set out and it wasn't very long before he found a pile of straw. Oh, this looks like it will make a very lovely house and it doesn't seem like much work at all, he said. He set out building his house and before you know it, his house was done. He smiled at his hard work and he went off to play in the mud. The second pig was also a lazy pig and he loved smelling flowers all day. But he told his mommy that he would go and build a house just as she said. First stop was by the flower garden. I just love smelling flowers. Right beside the flower garden, he found a pile of old sticks. Hmm, he said. These sticks will make a very sturdy house, and it won't take time at all. So he set out building his house of sticks. Where did I place my house of sticks? Okay. And before you know it, his house was ready. He built it right beside his brother's house of straw. He stood and admired his house for a moment. Then, since he was a lazy pig, he took a little nap right on the ground beside his house. When he woke up, he went to the end of the road to smell the flowers again. <sighs> he said, I just love smelling flowers. The third little pig loved his mother very much and he didn't want to disappoint her so he kissed his mom and off he went down the road and down the road for many miles until he found a pile of <laughs> of bricks let me gather these bricks he said and take them over into this clearing where I can build a very sturdy house. He set to work right away. Stacking and building his house. It took many days for him to build a sturdy house. But when he was finished, he was not disappointed. His house had everything he needed. It had a nice big sturdy door and a fireplace for making big pots of soup and a chimney for the smoke from the fireplace to go up. <clears throat> he went on inside to make a pot of soup. He was hungry from all his hard work. Well, guess who else was hungry? You guessed it, the big bad wolf. He went out in search of some food. And it wasn't very long before he found the little straw house with the piggy inside. And he knocked on the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Uh -oh, I'm having technical difficulties. 
Hold on, bear with me. The little pig said, not by the hair, I'm a chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> he didn't blow very hard at all. And the house blew right away. The little pig was terrified. Ah! And he ran down the road and down the road until he got to his brother's house made of sticks. Brother, brother, let me in. The big bad wolf is coming. So he went inside the house of sticks and they slammed the door. The big bad wolf came along. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. I know you're in there. And the little pig said, Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. And the big bad wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> Ooh, this house is a little sturdier than the last house, he said. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Woo! He blew the house down and the little pigs ran down the road and down the road and down the road to their brother's house made of bricks. <gasps> brother, brother, let us in. The big bad wolf is coming and he's angry and he's hungry. So they ran inside, slammed the door, locked it, and were hiding very quietly when all of a sudden they heard, <gasps> Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. I know you're in there. And they said, Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, he said. So he took a big, big breath. <gasps> Help him. Help him take a really big breath. Ready? <gasps> and he blew as hard as he could. But the little house of bricks stood still. And he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. <sighs> And he could not blow that house down. And he was getting very angry because he was very hungry. And his tummy said, Oh, I'm very hungry. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew again. He was getting so tired from all that huffing and puffing. So he sat down for a moment to think, How can I get in this very sturdy house of bricks? So he walked around the house and around the house until he came to the side with the chimney. Hmm, I wonder if I quietly, quietly climb up this chimney and go down, if I can get in there and gobble up those little piggies. Now remember, the little piggy, the third little piggy was making a pot of stew in the chimney in the fireplace. And it was very, very hot. But the wolf, who was very tired, didn't care about that. And he decided that he had to get into the house. So he, after he took his nap, hold on, one of my piggies is lost. Oh, heavens. Okay. After he took his nap, he climbed up the side of the house and went down, down, down through the chimney and fell into the pot of boiling water and came bursting out of the house. Ah, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, ah! And he ran to the forest, never to be seen again. The three little pigs came out of the house of bricks and were so excited and they danced around and hugged each other. Yay, we're safe, we're safe. That big old bad wolf will never eat us in this big sturdy brick house. And they thanked their brother for saving them. Brother, brother, thank you. May we stay here with you in your sturdy house of bricks? Of course you can, said the piggy. And they lived happily ever after, never to hear from that big bad wolf again. And they planted a lovely flower garden beside the house of bricks. And their mother often came to visit. The end.